Good evening, everybody, and welcome to evening prayer on this Wednesday evening. Um, Gracie is eating right now, I think, so hopefully she won't bother us. So um, I'm recording this, so I'm sorry it's not live, and uh, I'll stop touching the table because it's shaking you guys pretty bad. Sorry about that. Um, all right, well, let's prepare our hearts and our minds for worship. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. Joyous light of glory, of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ. We have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who led your people Israel by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And we, your creatures, glorify you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly, hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evildoers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God, and you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense. The lifting up of my hands is the evening sacrifice. Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O Lord, and let your loving kindness descend upon us, that with purified minds we may sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host, and may glorify you forever and ever. Amen. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 134. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Lord, where two or three are gathered together in your name, you promise to be with them and share their fellowship. Look down upon your family gathered in your name and graciously pour out your blessing upon us. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our reading for this evening is from the book of John, the seventh chapter. After this, Jesus went about in Galilee. He would not go about in Judea because the Jews sought to kill him. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand, so his brothers said to him, Leave here and go to Judea, that your disciples may see the works you are doing. For no man works in secret if he seeks to be known openly. If you do these things, show yourself to the world, for even his brothers did not believe in him. Jesus said to them, My time has not yet come, but your time is always here. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me because I testify of it, that its works are evil. Go to the feast yourselves. I am not going up to this feast, for my time has not fully come. So saying, he remained in Galilee. But after his brothers had gone up to the feast, then he also went up, not publicly, but in private. The Jews were looking for him at the feast, saying, Where is he? And there was much muttering about him among the people. While some said, he, was a good, he is a good man, others said, No, he is leading the people astray. Yet for fear of the Jews, no one spoke openly of him. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arms. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
Lord of all power and might, author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, increase in us true region, nourish us with all goodness, and bring forth in us the fruit of good works. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all the saints, let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. In thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. And this concludes our service for this evening. So from the Valor household to yours, we wish you a good night, and God bless.